All right, let's resume disciples of liberation. All right, so we had finished the quest for Mother Jahan. The candle there looks like a uh, quest marker for like wow yeah there was a palantir type thing back there and a doorway we couldn't find our way past but I guess for now we're done here uh, there we go a little iffy on the exit I think I don't, I don't think we have anything else to do other than just advance the main quest here now. There was a couple of fights left, but they uh, were pretty high level units in comparison. Oh, it's a scarecrow. I was like, what is that? Two strange sights. The guard and the regalia of the Vale, a political sect currently rising in power and esteem. And the gates, which are renowned for being open, are closed. May his holy light enshrine you. And you. We're here to hold court with the mercenary king. Rebels tried to take the castle, and the king died in the uprising. The holy fire watches over the lands now. The mercenary king is dead? And to protect the holy prior from the same fate, the gates are closed to all, even outsiders. Hmm. The king was loved, and the castle hails been open to the population. The king died in the anarchy he himself fostered. These people are impure. Rebellion brews. Even now, the rebels reject our divine offer of purification and hide in Equishheim, plotting. But fear not. We've dispatched ten of our most disciplined priestesses to bring... reason. So, as long as there are rebels, these gates stay... If you are determined to get past, let the High Father guide you. But the gates are not just guarded, they're blessed. Only a priestess's incantation could open them now. And this guy sounds incredibly sarcastic. Perfect. And all the priestesses are in Equishine, bringing reason. The Vale are servants to the Emperor, and we both know the Emperor has no place here. The High Father is the Vale's only master, and he is everywhere. We no longer just serve the Emperor, we serve God. And he is everywhere. Sending a prior to take control of the hail is a bold choice. I'll give you that. There is no choice. It was the will of the High Father that the holy light of the prior scorched these filthy, stained lands. The veil acted on his will. The people of the plains are wild, but they're not murderers. Something tells me there's more to this story. They simply resist purification. As do all who need it most. Eyes muddied with filth or blind to benevolence. Clearly, the rebels aren't here. No, but worry not. We've dispatched our priestesses to Equishime, just east. Ah, oh, we met one when passing through. She may be of some help. I'll ride back to the priestess in Equishime. The Vale, bunch of crazy cultists. Well, not any crazier than all the other ones we've met. Maybe, but the mercenary king is dead, and these cultists are serving the emperor. Why would the emperor send them here? Is he asking for a civil war? And why aren't they arresting us on sight? Surely word has spread that we almost destroyed the Church of St. Darta. Until we find out, drinking that ale will have to wait. Okay.
around for healing, after all. I'm fine. As for you, there were supposed to be priestesses here. Plural. Bless these lands and purify the rebels. Yes. There were ten of us. Someone or something is attacking Equashine in the night, including my sisters. The villagers say it's a curse. They call it the Ghost of the Veil. I'm the last priestess. Hmm. You mean to say the priestesses are dead? My sisters are in the arms of the High Father now. The rebels were kind enough to dignify each with a burial, at least. The people of Ekushim are kinder than I expected them to be, truth be told. Every priestess is dead, and yet here you are. You're either a very unique priestess, or a spy. Well, that's a lot more accusatory than I thought it would be. Neither. We sisters prefer benevolence to brutishness. They set off for the wood to do their good work and were killed for it. I remained here. It's unlike a prior of the Vale to show kindness where he can punish. I'd have expected soldiers. That's what you Vale folk do, isn't it? Kill, burn, terrorize. <laughs> you get the idea. Oh, that reminds me of that Prowls video where it says, uh, was unexpectedly aggressive. Hey, fuck you! Of course not. The rebels aren't villains, but victims of their own impurity. Their souls don't deserve banishment, just cleansing. Tell me about yourself. My name is Khorasan, third priestess of the Holy Temple under Mother Jeanne. My markings tell the rest of my story. I was marked pure, as all will be in the end. With these divine etchings on my body, I can channel the High Father's love. Surely you've heard about what happened at the Church of St. Darchild? The lair of the insolent priest? I've heard of his fall from God, but nothing else. Hmm. No one here knows about what we did. It's clearly being kept a secret. I just don't know why. All right. Despite your losses, you remain to help Aquashime. Honorable for a servant of the Vale, but that puts us at odds. Oh. So long as there are rebels, the gates to the Hale remain closed. I need them open. We may not be at odds at all, but I'm not leaving so long as the Ghost of the Vale brings suffering to Aquashime. I may recognize these wounds. I killed a werebeast stalking the eastern forest that could have inflicted them. I knew it. The deaths of my sisters were so savage, I was certain it must have been animal in nature. Not to mention the number of missing villagers. The whole time, it's been some feral beast. It was, and now it's dead. Now, I'm certain the people can tend to themselves. As for you, I think you're suddenly free to depart. Mm -hmm. The prior will need to hear about what you've done here. Very well. Let me collect my things. Quest journal. All right. Another priestess. Uh, the painted one. So I guess whenever they do these markings, that's painful, they forget their past, and they get some sort of peace from it. Well, there's some fucking fire. Some new stuff. Right, I was working towards him locking up here. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Not a crit chance one. Okay. Go over to units. She's just a free slot, but she's a companion. Oh no, I get companion things there, but they don't take up leadership, so. So I can have one on the field and also get the pass if you only from the back line one. That's pretty good. Oh no, leadership. We got a crit one, right? Yep. I I guess I'll get rid of the crit one. So she can use the staff. That's gonna be a huge upgrade. Let's go check out that new building. Oh, so this is gonna let me get some of those units I've been fighting. Plus 50% healing passively is really good. Um, let me double check what my lineup is. Yeah, I think let's get. Well, let's recruit from here at least two, because I think I want to use one in my army and one in the back line. Well, I want to compare stats. 570. 579, so she actually has a little bit more HP. Power 75, 94. see any reason why I would not use her over him. She has superior stats in every way despite both being tier 1. So I might as well just get a second one because it just seems like a straight up superior to unit honestly. So tier one. Well, I gotta get my standing up to get any tier two units, but that should seem like be a stronger army. Um, let's go back. And they give me a new spell too. Like burning a target is demon or undead. Okay. Those both seem pretty niche, but they're cheap. Those definitely don't gather while you're offline. Let's see. 
see if she has anything to say. Let's make it a shrine. Well, I don't. Doesn't give me a choice on that, of course. Okay. Enough about the other ones. I think these are just the other places we have to go to. Alright, so not too much to have said there. A little bit of lag spike. High Father, Sister Coruscant. High Father, be praised. We return to see his holy prior. He's at work in the keep below the castle. His tirelessness is an inspiration. But why do you bring these filthy mercenaries to sacred ground? May he avert his celestial eye. Okay. It is my hope he forgives me for my action and you for your idleness, brother. He's always really aggressive. Another health fountain there. Oh. So I don't enter from here, I go down. Men fled. Oh, the dragon. We put her to sleep. I think I can kill it? I can kill a dragon. You know where the dragon is. That looks a little gruesome. There are people that are hostile down here. Probably just a conqueror situation, though. Little statue. Little banners.
locked door. I'm guessing the other one is too. No, there's a lot of treasure in here though. So I wish I could move the camera around. It looks like a oh, angel angel wings, but the head looks more like dragon, demonic. <laughs> I feel like this is a flat critical chance is better. It's all just dismantle stuff. Shouldn't have a campfire inside. That's a bad idea. I'm supposed to talk to you. Gold. Boots. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Yeah, it's the same statue over here. I think that's pre-corruption Betherson, maybe. The fuck is this guy? His holy light shone your way home, Sister Corisan. I'm told you reached Equisheim with incident. It was horrific. Some beast stalked my sisters in the night. I presumed them dead, but one survived. Thanks to this woman, Aviana. She saved our sister and slayed the beast. Yes, the ghost of the veil. I've heard the stories. They're quite fantastic. And tell me, what of the rebels you were dispatched to purify? They're no closer to trusting us and no closer to purification. I've failed you, Prior. But I do believe they trust Aviana. The self-appointed leader of Equishine, a man named Jordan, is crass, but I suspect he respects her. Very good, Sister Coruscant. That's all. A holy hand is a busy hand, and you've certainly been that, Aviana. You have my attention, Aviana. Clearly that's what you wanted. So, enlighten me. Why are you here? I guess let's go with good one. I came for an alliance. I have a city where people are free to worship as they please. Even the veil. Yeah, yeah. So, it's power you seek. Power is not shared. It is fear itself. Those that feel it, and those that incite it. Fire burned in their hearts until this ghost of the veil, for instance. It was nowhere, Leopard. Oh. It was us, or rather, him. Aviana, meet the Inquisitor Regent. He knows something you clearly need to learn. The rebels, the whole of the Empire, will tear themselves apart. War is coming to these lands. Not petty rebellion, not infighting, war! Order and obedience are the only way the Empire will survive! Prior. Quiet, Coruscant! I mourn your sisters and all wounded. I truly do. But these rebels are not leaders. They can't rule. 
Not now! Sacrifices had to be made, and so I made them. All flesh is a temporary thing. I assure you theirs was honored. I was thinking for a second what that was reminding me of. It reminds me of the uh, Arcturus Minx from StarCraft after he sacrificed his character. Friar, the rebels are emboldened after the death of that beast. They rally outside the walls and demand your head. You see? They don't thirst for freedom. They thirst for blood. This is your doing, Aviana. If it's alliance you want, prove it. Join us in this fight. Please, Aviana. He's right. We may seem cruel to you, but I've seen the rebels fight. They're far worse. I can explain our ways to you later, but first, help us. Okay. If I do nothing, we all die. Fight them back as long as you can. I'll find their base and kill them. The rebellion ends today. Agreed. Their hideout is south of here. We'll fight them off so you can escape. Hmm. Oh, a new, new building again. Cool. I can't town portal from in here, but uh. Played. It's pretty sick. And whatever that fucking zombie dude was, that was weird. Is this still locked? Yeah. I didn't see anything that looked like a way to open it. The rebels will be slaughtered without us. It's not too late. Let's head south and take out the veil. You can't mean we betray our oath to the prior. That's exactly what I mean. Enough. Mount and follow me. Okay. So they're conflicted, but I'm just gonna stick with the veil. They're kooky. A little crazy. A little kooky. Is that 4 8? So, not quite there yet. Physical resistance, okay, I can give that to one of those priestesses. Let's see what that new building's like. I don't think I even saw that before. Oh, okay, is it like the DLC stuff? Okay, so here's Empire stuff. Level 50 and improve your relationship with the Empire, okay. That's gonna take a while. That's the Legion. I wish I could get closer to see the statue better. The Undead. Oh, I like this one. This is pretty. There's that one statue again, so we've got to be something significant. Alright, so I can't do nothing there. Oh, this is, it goes on for more. Like a little throne room. There's an empire cross up there. And 
I guess that's it. Alright, so that's basically stuff I can just unlock later, I suppose. I was trying to see if there was a way I can actually tell what I would get from that building without phasing something out, but I guess I will. I probably won't use any Legion units anyway. I like her, she's pretty. But that's a high tier unit. There's the Arc Mage! Dealing unholy damage. Pretty high base crit chance, but increases speed and reflexes, grants agile. I mean, the plus movement's not bad, but I don't know if it's. I don't think he's worth using over the shadow caster. I think I'd rather just have two shadows. This would be all three of the buildings. I'll build it. I don't think I'm gonna use an Arcanist right now, but some of the later units I might use. But I am gonna try and do a major. I'm mainly go with the Empire. I don't have either of these yet. I just might need to swap these out as I get more elf stuff. Probably do a mix of elven and empire units. you handle the rebels and I have the side quest to handle a dragon Is there units down here oh we already handled them so I remember there was some like level 9 or something units I have that right See what the dragon is ahead of time. Mm. Is this the veil? What in the four heavens is he doing here? Abby, if we do this, we're taking down the prior along with everyone else. So this is just if we decide to attack from there. I assume the other one is for the attacking the rebels. Let's double check. I don't think there's anything else around here, is there? Oh, here's something. Okay, so they're at odds. The elf killed his son. That was trespassing on his land. Seems pretty... Uh... 
attachments. Ten, okay. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. D deserve to die, really, for trespassing to hell? Alright, well that should be a pretty easy fight. See how much this AoE deals for. Oh, did I get everyone back up? Not bad. Not able to play. Yeah, they got a similar power, uh, but they attack in a line. I mean, they got a line of sight, but it's also AoE, so I just... And the heal is probably more useful than the Agile buff, so I just don't see any reason to take the Arcanist over those. Yeah, that's about as easy as I figured it would be. A new soldier. Okay, I don't... Need that, but all right. Oh, man. Is that where, uh, Lady is, I think. Because we can go get it real fast and see if it'll help us with um, dealing with those high level troops or the dragon. She's still here? She's still orgying? She just don't have anything else to say, okay. I thought it would update and have her leave, but maybe, I guess not. Yeah, so it's this one. I think there was a locked gate, like, way in the back. Maybe that'll be available now. I 
Oh, a titty statue. With no arms. Yep, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna check out that shard real fast. Unholy damage, so that's the other caster. Uh, hmm. No, let's keep the. Well, yeah, let's uh, uh, switch this. See what do you got? Physical resistance. Let's do that. There we go. What's this? Bunch of bones. Bones. Oh, it must open that. Whenever I do it, it's like a puzzle, I guess. Clicking randomly, but it seemed to just work. Equipment that probably won't be used, but anything else back here? Oh, wait a minute, this just leaves. Okay, so it loops back. Let's go with the crit. 